As a website designer, I hear all about the new website building platforms that are popping up every year. Sometimes those brands email me because they want me to like talk about them, uh, but usually they're not ones that I recommend. And most recently, Canva has released a website builder. And since Canva is so popular among online business owners, I've had several people DM me and be like, what are your thoughts? Like, should we use this? And so I wanna talk about that today. If you're new here, my name's Jess, and this channel is all about helping you create a more smooth and profitable online business with the help Help of your website. And like I mentioned, today we're going to be talking about the Canva website builder that just came out a few weeks ago. So the great part about Canva's website builder is that it acts like everything else inside of Canva. It's not like you have to go to a different part of Canva and like learn all this different functionality or it's not like they built it, you know, on a separate platform and it's just owned by Canva or anything like that. It is truly just built into Canva. So if you are familiar with designing inside Canva and comfortable with that, then it's the same. You don't have to learn anything new. <laughs> it literally functions the exact same way. The downside of Canva's website builder though, is that it's very, very, very basic. Um, and they do advertise it as like a simple landing page builder, a one page website, no code, you know, very, very easy, which is great, but only for certain uses. This website builder is not meant for full fledged websites that online business owners need to truly promote their services and products. So for example, some of the functionality that is currently missing, obviously they could make updates in the future. So <laughs> if there are updates in the future, I can remake this video. But as of October, 2022, there's no way to embed code, embed videos. Um, you can't embed like an email opt-in form. Obviously you could link to a new page and that kind of stuff, but it's very, very basic. There's also no SEO functionality. You can't blog because again, it's just designing. It's not a full-fledged website. And some of these functionalities I mentioned are very, very important for business owners. And I know that someone watching is gonna be like, mm, I don't need that for my business. I just need a place to put my prices and my hours. That is really not making the best use of your website. If you just treat your website like a very basic static brochure, you could be doing a lot, lot more with your website. So while I don't think that Canva's website builder is a great option for online business owners to market their business, there are a few ways that I do think we could utilize Canva's website builder. And I wanna talk about those. First, for business owners, I think it could be great for an internal team website. So if you are someone who has a few either employees or contractors, this could be a great way to maybe onboard them onto your team. You could have some quick links, um, links to tutorials, and here's our processes for all these things, uh, reminders, you know, of general, you know, working hours or like this is when payroll comes out, whatever it is. I think that could be a really cool way instead of just like, oh, here's a PDF, you know, and then you don't have to, you know, hit export on a PDF and email it to everyone again. You could update it that way. So that's one way business owners could utilize it. The other thing you could do inside your business is use this as maybe kind of a cool interactive client onboarding. And again, instead of just a PDF, <laughs> this could be more interactive. So you wouldn't be able to embed videos or anything like I mentioned earlier, but it could be some links to tutorials, information about this is where this information is at. This is when we have our calls, like whatever you need to outline, that could be a really cool way um, to kind of onboard clients into your business or your program, whatever you're doing with clients. And then of course there are non-business owners that could also utilize Canva's website builder. So one idea is preschool teachers or elementary teachers. Uh, this could be a cool way to update parents on things happening in the classroom. Of course, online child safety would have to be taken into consideration. So I don't know this would necessarily be a place for pictures, but it could be reminders, easy links to resources or information that parents need to find. That's one idea. Another one is using this as a portfolio or resume. 
This could be really cool when you are in college and starting to apply to jobs or even outside of college. Um, obviously, I know that you still have to send in a real resume to a lot of places, They're, you know, because the online job application always wants you to like upload a PDF, but you could have a link to this somewhere in your cover letter or listed on your resume and have more of an interactive display of your skills, your portfolio, whatever it is. Now, if you're watching this and you're a business owner and you're like, dang it, I really wanted to use Canva's website builder because it seems so easy. My go-to for easy website building is Squarespace. Now I use WordPress myself and for a lot of my clients, but I also highly recommend Squarespace. So if you're looking for something easy, check it out. I have lots of videos about Squarespace, so you can learn a little bit more before you dive in. If you have any questions about Canva, Squarespace, or even WordPress, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time.